Most parts makers invest in large machinery to lower the costs of high volume production of the same parts. But as Yamada's method of eliminating overproduction spreads, orders for parts fall sharply and these firms lose the extra capital they need to invest in equipment. So, Yamada has thought of a way to protect profits even when orders decrease. His answer was the development of a machine they dubbed Karakuri, which can manufacture simple parts. The fact that it is inexpensive means profits can be maintained as orders decrease. This large machine can fully assemble small lamps. First, it inserts an electrode terminal in one side of the socket. Then, a robotic arm swivels the socket around and inserts another electrode terminal on the opposite side. Yet another robotic arm then reverses the unit and tests the lamp. This machine was purchased for 15 million yen. Karakuri, meanwhile, is a much smaller device developed after three months of research. It completely eliminates all of the wasted motion of the larger machine, even while possessing the same assembly capability. Combining tasks without manipulating the lamp made robotic arms unnecessary. This machine can test the lamps at the same stage in which the electrodes are inserted. Its cost is just one thirtieth that of the larger machine, and its simple design makes model changes quick and easy. When this came along, I was surprised. I was so impressed by the fact that he really did it. And also I realized that what Mr. Yamada had been saying was so right. It was like, what had I been thinking up till now? He really astounded me. In three years' time, this maker has cut plant investment costs by one-third through the development of 206 different types of katakuri machines. The company has deepened its confidence that it can adapt to an era of shrinking orders.